So, uh, hello and welcome to a new video. Now, I'm in the car, I've got the flu, I'm absolutely freezing, got myself a bite to eat. So, basically, I wanna do a quick, a little quicker combo with, with you that's watching. Now, usually I start my video with like, like you've just watched, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video, but in reality, obviously, I'm only talking to one person, which is you that's watching now. I just wanna cover a few, a few little things before we, we get on with the journey. I'll, it won't be long, I'll try and keep it as short and, and as simple as possible. I want to just kind of discuss what's happening with the channel. It's always going to be a car channel, car related channel. We're always going to try and do things that are car related. But the one thing that's kind of worrying that's, uh, I don't think it will ever come to pass, but the way the UK is going now is they're, they're changing rules and regulations and laws and things. And they're apparently going to change trespass from a civil offence to a criminal offence. Now, this is something that will completely end what we do. So I've got to try and think of something to try and keep the channel going and keep it car related. I don't really want to keep going on private land and, and and recording other people's cars. I don't want to keep doing that. It's not not where I want this channel to go. The way the world is today is it's it's in a right mess. Now, what I want to try and do, I want to try and um, I'm just going to say it as 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 simple as possible. I need help. I'm not one to ask for help, but I need help. I need help with this channel. I need help from you that's watching. So I want this channel to become a very successful channel. I want this channel to become a very well-known watchable channel i wanted to get to the point where not only can i bring you amazing content i can also help you with whatever you want what your needs are or what what you may be going through what i want to propose is if you can at least donate one pound a month that's all i want i don't want no more than a pound you know it could be less than a pound just one pound a month at the end of the month it's what it's the 29th of january now so the 29th of february one month from today donate one pound to my paypal account I'll show you what's in my paypal account now it's one pound 41 pence can you see that it's probably back it's probably revered one pound 41 pence on average my channel gets between 20 30 thousand views so 30 thousand people now if you if you run that over the month period there's you know well over a hundred thousand people that uh watch my content now don't worry i'm not expecting a hundred thousand pounds i'm not even expecting a hundred quid because it's up to you that's watching to be to be open and and, and like think actually i will help this channel out uh, i will uh, donate a pound a month that's all i'm asking you know i'm not asking for a lot now what i will give in return is every month that passes i will show you what's in the paypal account and whatever's in that paypal account i will give you the choice of what happens with that money i'm always going to be a car related channel but i also need this type of investment to make this channel great make this channel good you know because at the end of the day all i want to do for you that's watching is build cars make make these amazing bloody you know things happen i want to save these cars i want to be able to put these these cars that, that that mean so much to you back on the road now i may get a lot of bad feedback for this you may say i'm begging you may say this you may say that but at the end of the day i can't do this on my own and, I, and I'm, I'm a proud man i'm a very proud person and i don't ever ask for help i don't so you that's watching i i ask that you just put a pound into the paypal account a month i want to be able to be in a position where i can help other people so yeah let's uh let's go to this car location and uh let me stop ranting so uh let's carry on oh. Well then, hello and welcome to a new episode, ladies and gents. So today's episode is at a location that uh, has been done by quite a few people. It's another one of those locations that's been rinsed by everyone and their nan. And I didn't know about it, so I'm always the last one to the party. But it's worth watching because there are some amazing little gems there. Not just cars, antiques and whatever else. And takes you back to a day when things were a little bit more simpler. So we're going to get there now. I'm out of breath already. And uh, have a sit down, I think. This is definitely one million percent my type of locations. Ha! Huh. If it starts with a forest, I am happy. Oh, that is. Yep, ladies and gents, I'm happy. Somebody else was happy. It's kind of a weird, weird thing to stumble on. Yeah, somebody comes here quite often to uh, enjoy the forest. I mean, it's a bit spooky, isn't it, really? 
Is that an old Citroen? Oh, God, it's frozen. Is that an old Citroen? Ah, what a new year. What's that? It looks like a lot of these cars are dead. Not certainly dead. I don't know, the door's definitely not opening. Well, I'm trying to get my bearings, ladies and gents, because I don't know exactly what part of this I'm supposed to be starting from. So give me a second. Car there on its side. We must have needed to do some maintenance underneath. Peugeot. Like I say, I don't know. I don't know what direction I'm supposed to be going in. I tried getting my bearings, but I just couldn't figure out where I near I bloody am. This looks well tried, Mister. Look at the old, the old shacks. I'm just getting my bearings. Like, oh, there's a house up there. We can't go out any further than that. This old bike. <laughs> Parked there a few years back and then never they, they forgot about it. No way, look at these old trucks. That's pretty cool. What is it? It's a uh, a Roadmaster 1600. Ooh. Roadmaster 1600. I mean, that was cool to drive. I've got a really old. Ford's in here. God, she's seen better days, hasn't she? Definitely seen better days. And look at these. Wow. Built for chewing up, chewing up soil. Is this what? Is this what I think it is? Is this a comma van? Is that what that is? A comma. She's certainly seen better days. Wow. She's rotten. Tell kids a bit of that, look. Smash the windscreen through and everything. It's not a new break, it's years old. But she's a. Uh, she's not looking so good. What a shame. 350 FG. I love these old, uh, these old trucks I mean something unique about them but yeah you know they weren't that cool because I got left to rot and die like that no way got a few iron baths in the back hey we need any barn doors one or two in there Oh wow, a little French legend in there, look. I oh, know this is sweet. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of uh, explorers being here. And I didn't even know about this one. Oh wow. Another old tractor there, look. So I was just speaking to the people on Instagram how this this is a this is a classic in its own right this thing is. I mean somebody would pay quite a bit of money for this. But I was just saying, do, do people have to do that? Put their name over everything. I mean this thing has got Urbex everywhere. It's just like, is it really needed? I don't think it's needed. You know, you, you're not gonna get recognition by writing your name on an old dusty van. If you wanna get recognition, get your name out there. Show the aud your audiences that find amazing locations that's gonna get your name on the map. Don't ride it on these types of vehicles because it kind of ruins it for everybody else. The cock crew's been here already. Every time you go to an abandoned location, you always get cocks written on the wall. It's like, why? I mean, that's that, that's something I've never understood. I mean, there's, there's, there's got to be a group out there called the cock brigade that just likes writing cocks on things. It's just like, seriously? I thought that was a Nintendo then. I'm not surprised that hasn't been nicked. If it had still across it, it would have been gone a long time ago. Right, let's see if this old girl's open. Oh, listen to that. Opens a treat. It's full of old computers, look. I mean, she looks pretty good on the in the rear. I bet she's not really high mileage.
No way. It's not that bad. There's a little metal detector in there. I'm gonna get me torch, me light out. What's the mileage? 95,000. Not too bad, is it really? 95,000, a little metal detector. I remember them old girls. A little four speed. Gotta love these steering wheels, haven't you? They're amazing. <laughs> oh, let's get out. Oh, fucking hell. She's still got oil in there, look. Bit black lights, but she's still got oil. The man's lifetime collection of uh, bits and bobs. Unreal. It's madness how, how you can spend your whole life collecting. Collecting all this stuff for you to obviously pass on and have no, no relatives to leave it to. And this is how it ends up. Forgotten. Well, then let's uh, go and see if we can see something else. Oh, what's in the barn? Can't really tell. Got another little French car here. Look at this, it's an old Wayne scale thing. Discarded in the bushes like it's nothing. Got a little, oof, got a little 405 here. Look. That's a picture, isn't it? I mean, that is cool. That's a definition of a barn pine, that is. Or was it last on the road? Or when was it last tax at least? 2009, I think. No, 2000. Is that 2000? Yeah, 2000. She's been there a while, hasn't she? Right, let's have a look in here then. Look at that. I'm sorry, ladies and gents, you probably think I'm weird, but look at this. What to say? Harrison, MC, Gregor, and Co. Oh, it's cracked there, look. No way. Oh, look at that there, look at Fordson. Look at this, look. Look how the tree has wrapped around the handle. I bet they got a handle on there. Look how the trees grow around this. That's now a tree son, not a Ford son. This tractor deserves a good look at. She's been here a very, very long time. Let's get out of here because there's loads of bloody um, asbestos. Hello? Hello? I wonder what that's off. I wonder if you could tell me what that, that's off. I need some movement up here. Ooh, this place has been, I'd say it's been picked, but I doubt it has because most of the young'uns on the, the Urbex people that's come here wouldn't have a clue what they're looking at. Oh, dryer there, look. No way. Look at it all. It's just full. That doesn't fill me with um, a nice warm, fuzzy feeling. That's nice too. What's that say? Alvely or brewery or something. That's pretty cool too. I don't know what it is, but definitely doesn't need to be doesn't de deserve to be sat there doing nothing. Got a really really old vintage caravan here. Is anybody in the caravan? Hello. Those old batteries, old ever ready batteries. Woman's health. Look how old that book is. Well and truly sixties. 1965, an old uh, Ferguson Massey 135 service guide. Back there, boxing. <laughs> this place is well and truly uh, stuck in time. Hair dry there, that's certainly the 60s. Cool that. I bet quite a few of these parts to be are quite new as well on this on these shelves. Oh, I didn't see that. Look at that look. This is the old OXO tin. When was the last time you seen one of those? OXO cubes for cooking and drinking. <laughs> no way, for cooking and drinking. A friend of mine used to eat uh, OXO cubes just, just for fun. He used to open the packet, pop one in his mouth and away you go. I'm in love with this location. I really am. Batteries going flat though. <sighs> Don't know what that is. There's lots of things in here all over the floor that you can um, turn into something that you can use in the home. Lots of things. What a cool place. A really cool place. Right, I'll just take a few pictures, ladies and gents. I'll be back in a second. Look at that interior. It's bloody mint. That interior is almost immaculate. Those seats look ready to, ready to sit in. I'm shocked that this has uh, survived, really. None of the doors are open. They're all locked, but can't see the mileage. Quite shocking that these haven't been smashed through. Wow. 
what I find. I'd be happy just to explore this bit and this this car alone. But all the little trinkets that's all over the place just makes for a really, really cool location. So I don't really like the building, as you know, but this place is open here, so I thought I'd have a bit of a nose, even though I don't like buildings. The question is, why was that hacked the crap out? Wow, this place is riddled in, in antiques. All these old TVs, no way. So I'm guessing the old boy lived in here. Yeah, this is definitely where he lived. I'm sure it's not an old bird that lived here. God, this place is eerie, man. Well and truly eerie. Eerie now. I'm telling you now, if an old bird jumps out on me now, I'm gonna scream. Yeah, she was an old bird, her teeth are there, look. So these these have been staged, these have. They've been staged by bloody morons. Got the old bird's ear and eye there and her teeth. I mean, this this is why I don't like coming to houses, ladies and gents. I mean, because look at this. Look where she had to live. Fuck's sakes, man. He liked his computers, or she liked her computers. All gold floors all over the place in this joint. You feel half cut walking around in there. I mean, they lived in a freezer. That that theor theoretically, that's an, an old box freezer van. That is, or just a box freezer. Right then, we're trying to climb through all this crap here because I found some more cars. I don't know if there's a path round here. I might be going the bloody hardest way. I'll just see a car and I'll just go straight through the bushes. I don't try and find an easy way. I'm like, just a car. There's a car, and I'll smash through all the bushes. Oh, that's proper explore, ladies and gents. Oh, it's an old school Nissan Patrol. No way. Proper old school Nissan Patrol. I've been in one of these many years ago. They got some power. <sighs> An old caravan in there too. Proper old school Nissan Patrol. Look at that interior, bloody hell. What's the mileage? The mileage is, ow! Ow, you bastard. 71,000 I think that says. I can't really see because I can't get me heading through all these thorns. 71,000. Nissan Patrol. Yep, I'm gonna start, ladies and gents. She's certainly seen better days. <laughs> well, there's loads of cars here that we'll have a look at. No guesses what that used to be, ladies and gents. Now that's heartbreaking. That poor me didn't have a chance. This is a 50s, 60s graveyard, this is. And I'm almost certain that this was the old years. Oh, it's a van. She didn't have a chance. There you go, my old girl. You can at least see now. Oh, she's still got a little engine. I wonder if you can get this one. Started, Neil, brother. <laughs> oh, shit. At least very nice. I've got you out. Look how clean that looks in there. No way. That, ladies and gents, it's well and truly clean in there. No way. Where's the dipstick? Where's the dipstick? It's quite rotted away, it has really. I might be being a bit thick here, ladies and gents, but I don't know where the dip. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Look at these here, look. Yeah, animals are living in these old girls. An old Humber. It's a really old Humber. And what's this old beast? Look at that. How much fuel you got there? God, that still works a treat, that does, doesn't it? <laughs> that still works a treat. I was expecting that to be seized. That's not seized at all. I like that. <laughs> so if you could tell me what, what truck this is, ladies and gents, I'd be most grateful. Oh, it's a grid off this old truck, isn't it? See, look, chrome. Chrome will get you home. Is that from that? That's not from that. That's from this, this is, isn't it? Is that from this? 
I don't know. Well, this chrome certainly isn't going to get wherever this belongs to home because I don't even know what this belongs to. Oh, so this car's a console. Was a console. Hello. Oh, no. There's a dipstick on this one, look. Oh, she comes out. Oh, never way, no way. Let's have a look then. Oh, God, she's stuck. She's got oil in there. I'm not tasting that. So, there looks to be some more newer cars up here. This car here, you see they're doing work here, look. So this would explain all these tracks here. Look at this, look. I wonder what car this is, ladies and gents. Is that a little Renault? Is that an old Renault? I don't know. It looks Renault-ish. That this this here looks familiar. I don't know what it is. The reds are checking away. I'm pretty sure it's a Renault, but I don't know. An old Talbot, I think. An old Talbot. With the old Chrysler emblem on the old uh, steering wheel. Is that an Alpine? I thought it was a Polinaire's at first, but no, that's an Alpine that is. It's a Chrysler Alpine. That's a nice colour though, really, isn't it? Don't you agree? That's a really nice colour and a shame for it to be sat there like that. Oh, you can't open that. Unreal. There's some newer cars here. I mean, some not some newer cars. An old Austin, Austin 1100 there. I'm sure that's a Peugeot, an old Peugeot. Something else there which is dead. Unreal. So there's obviously more cars here, but they've been cleared because they're putting these new fences in. The blue half a car there. Did a Rover four one six. Look at her. Well, she's seen better days, that's for sure. Right, I think that's uh, the last of our finds, ladies and gents. There is a little fiesta there, but. We're not going nowhere near that fiesta because it's right next to the house or somebody's house so I'll have a look around see if I can see anything else but don't think there's anything else here I think this is our lot ladies and gents it's been a decent find really it's it's a well and truly a full video so what we're going to do now we're going to get out of here go and see two more locations I've got on the way home so for me Stokesy yeah, thanks for watching remember don't limit yourself and until next time keep car hunting peace